talking about. Just when I came after. Oh, you not. Like seven pounds? Oh, yeah, we got some back and forth. Oh my god! Oh shit! Ah! ah. Got it! Holy crap! Well, I can see one of the waterfalls now, the dual waterfalls that you've seen from, oh, about three videos back, two or three videos back, when me and Virgil found it. Um, so far, I've caught absolutely nothing. I had one bite and lost a crankbait. Brand new six dollar one. Jeremiah caught a perch of some kind, sunfish, bluegill or something. Other than that, it's been slim pickings, guys. They just don't seem to be biting at all. Uh, I haven't tried a, a wide variety of lures though, but me and him's using two totally different things. I'm trying the crankbait and he's got a soft plastic, so, or oh, I think it's a beetle spin. There's an ink pen set in here. Finally, switched my lure, didn't try this one yet, and finally got one, guys. I think my lure fell off, he ripped it out. No, it's still there. And I was getting ready to walk across slowly. Sometimes it just takes the right lure. And it is 6.30. Not too bad. All right, got a little spotted bass. Right when I, as I was walking across, I was just kind of fishing a, a little swim, a three inch swim bait. You can have one, they're in that, they're in my, there's two more just like that, already rigged up. All right, folks, well, oh, it's about 13 inch. Spotted bass, got him on the missile swim bait, chartreuse and white. After being skunked for two hours. We got a little evening bite, hopefully, now. Huh. And he was kind of out. He bit in front of me right here where I walk across. So it ain't even me and him caught two last time. It was bone dry up, up through here. It hit the water, man. Got him. Soon as it hit the water, man, he fell off the first time. Oh my God, he fell off again. Big old two pounder, man. Got him again. Different one. Oh my God. That one I just lost was twice as big as the one I caught earlier. Oh. Two and a half, three pounds. 
Oh man, folks, I just missed a giant spotted bass. Luckily, I was able to get one. You usually catch two or three before you spook them here. And so I got the small one. I'm gonna turn these. I'm gonna turn these fish loose below me so they don't. Anytime you catch one, turn it loose somewhere else. That way we don't spook them. There's more than one in here. You should have seen the one that fell off. You got him? Yeah, you got one. You got a big one, man. Good job. They fight hard in that current, don't they? Oh my goodness, man. He's got a nice one. My goodness, Jeremiah. That might be the one I had. Oh, we need to get down somehow. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to reach my arm down. Oh my God. Now just try to hold him in one spot. Yeah, don't do that. Oh, I got him. Good job, man. Oh, you got the one that fell off. <laughs> oh, I'll get a good view of you. Le Go ahead and leave the lure in it for a second. All right, Jeremiah got the one I was after, or maybe there's more than one in here. Yeah. <laughs> we did terrible. We should have came straight here, huh? <laughs> oh, man. It finally paid off, guys, when we got to the waterfall. Yeah, he's wrapped around in it. Oh, my goodness. He got him on a white rooster tail. Uh, the UV little one, six, one sixteenth ounce, it looks like. It's a fairly yeah, light it's one. A UV coated. Man, that's a, that's oh a nice one there. Goodness, nice spotted bass. Good. That's at least two, two pounds. Two yeah. Pounds. Mm hmm. I think that is the chunk. one that fell off. That's a chunk. You seen him? I had him on twice, and I, I can't believe he bit again, unless it is a different one. Look at that. I'll send you this tonight. Yeah, Try to. If not, I'll do it. Man, I may not do it oh, for a few days. Because I might be have to hurry to get to bed, but. Oh, my yeah, Man. God, they're stacked in. Oh, we shouldn't have put it in here. I had a bite that first throw, I put it back in. The current's so hard to fish it. I bet my lure ain't really down there very much. I almost need a heavier jig head. Oh, yeah. What do you got? Big old bluegill, man. Holy cow. That's a nice bluegill. <laughs> Uh. Hey, where are they at? I know it ain't nothing but three foot deep because me and Virgil, you could see the bottom when we was here. See, they're kind of wising up. I almost need a minute. This one's real severe though. A little one. Oh, I don't know why they're not staying hooked very good. Ow! All right, this is a little bitty spotted bass, little baby, and he messed them up my lure pretty much. Yeah, there's got to be some down in there behind it. Yeah, little guy. At least it finally kind of paid off at the end, huh? That hole's exciting when you first get to it. 
Now see if we had live bait, they wouldn't spook so quick. I thought uh that crappie on a half ounce spinner bait. Thought it was a small bass. I'm serious. It's actually yeah, half ounce. Big old uh it's a big old uh booyah spinner bait. <laughs> yeah. That's worth eating. My goodness. What a surprise. What did I just say five minutes ago? I've never caught a crappie below above that other waterfall. Now I just proved myself wrong, didn't I? That's a nice black crappie guy. He's 10 inches, almost 11 on a full size spinner bait. What a unexpected catch. They do, that is rare they hit a lure that damn big. They like tiny little two inch and under. That's weird. I'm gonna clean him off and get a good view of him. Hey, that made my day, man. I don't care if I only got one, that is awesome. He's all in front, it's in front of them trees. We, we just have to climb up, like we go about halfway back down the rocks and go straight up and then we walk the edge of the They mow it though, that's cool. They mow the edge of the field. That's a nice crappie. Hey, what, Jeremiah, can you like film me so I get a picture of me holding it? I'll just, where you don't gotta zoom, I'll just get kind of close. Is it pretty cool or like take up the whole screen almost? Well, sometimes you just never know. <laughs> oh my goodness. If I would've got more, like when you come down here, if we come down here in October, you get about 50 of these. This and bigger, all the way up to 13, 14. Using, you can lose a lot though. You gotta use those little curly, like you had when you first came in, yeah, little two inch. With, uh, and you can yeah. nail them in here. All right, folks, hey, it made my trip worth it. That's a nice black crappie right there. Wow. I did not, I thought it was a tiny bass when I was reeling it in until he started skiing across the top. I'm like, wait a minute, because crappie kind of give up and they just let you pull them in. A bass would have been twitching still. See, I can't get quite close enough where I'm wanting to without getting real gutsy. I know you got to get in between those sticks. There he is. Oh, wrong kind. Wrong kind, but it's a fish. We ended up doing better than I thought we would now. I mean, after the first hour, I was like, man, we caught more here than we did in the other four holes put together. <laughs> uh-uh, not until, not until I got right here on the corner. That's a real large mouth this time, guys. All right, not bad. Boy, they tear these things up so, that's the only thing I don't like about this lure. You're lucky to get two fish off of it by the time it's ruined. Nothing. People know about it. If they can see it from right here, they know about it. Yeah, but who would walk here? I know exactly how to get here. Uh, you count the at the end of the silos. See the metal silos? One, two, three, three and a half. The third, in between the third and fourth pole. Oh, you walk straight across? No, I walk through his yard and just walking along here. At least they mow it once in a while. Whew. 